All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. And today I'm going to bring you the phone I wanted to bring you a long time ago, uh, the Asus Zenfone 9. You always hear me talk about I, I like small devices that pack a serious punch. And this is probably the closest I'll get to that uh, on Android that's available to, to buy right now, in my opinion, that's uh, worthy to get that, that 700 bucks or $600 or whatever it costs. So, um, quick tech rundown. Uh, so, obviously, this is Asus Zenfone 9. Compact size, big possibilities. That is what I'm talking about. So, 5.9 inch 1080p display, uh, uh, 1080 by 2400, Super AMOLED, 120 hertz, HDR10+, 1100 nits peak brightness. Lovely. According to Guys Victus, you get it between 6 and 16 gigs of RAM. The 6 gig of RAM is going to probably be the non-US version. This is 8 gigs of RAM right here. 50 megapixel shooter on the back, 4300 milliamp hour battery. And let me show you what color I got here. Here. Exciting to finally start off 2023 with a phone that I have been wanting to show you since it first released and I just couldn't get my hands on it, but now I can. So this is a nice, uh, looks like a recycled box or whatever. This is actually a pretty nice matte textured and it's kind of raised and broidered on there. Uh, really, really nice. And let's get into this. All right. Semi ejection tool right there with the ASUS logo. And then you have the case, which I will be wearing next. And here's the color. Boom. This is a sandstone feel to it. This white is just absolutely great. I mean, oh, that looks so beautiful. Look at these cameras and the setup right here. This is just a beautiful, one of the most beautiful designs on any smartphone. It feels nice. Got the aluminum size on there, cold to the touch. You can see all the antenna bands along there, making sure you get good antenna signal. Uh, and there's some very cool and eclectic things about this hardware. You can see the power button there, the volume rocker. Uh, and then look here, you can see the SIM tray is on the curve. That's really eclectic. Type C, and then obviously that headphone jack on the top, and I am telling you, this has got to be one of the most beautiful compact devices I have ever seen in person. And I guess that's so because of the times have changed. You know, the OEMs can make some pretty sleek and sexy devices. So we're going to go ahead and power this up and then I'll show you the rest of the box. Vibration was very subtle if that was the vibration. Wow, that was, that was a soft vibration. It might be dead. If it's dead, I'll have to charge it up. Oh, no, there we go. All right, Let's see what else is in the box here. So you do have a charger. <laughs> Ironically enough, Asus still gives chargers. <laughs> oh man, there's the information right there where you can see it. And then you get a Type-C cable. So, exciting to finally bring you this. We'll take a look at the case in just a second. But you know I got to do a size comparison with a device that we all love. <laughs> this is how it's going to look next to my iPhone 13 Pro. And this is this, this is a little bit more narrow than the iPhone 13 Pro, so it feels even better. And it's just slightly taller. I mean, well, actually, nope, it's the same height. Oh, it's just a hair. I mean, like a, 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 it feels like it's a pinch, just a smidgen. And now, then again, it feels like it's maybe it's the same height. Placebo effect. And you can see how much more it's a little bit narrower. Beautiful. This looks just stunning. So, this is my small, powerful, compact Android device. We'll let this thing get fired up and then I'll get it all set up. Uh, and then we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back now and we're going to go ahead and try on this case here. I've been setting up the phone, playing with it, charge it up a little bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this open. Uh, it feels different than the actual phone itself. The case doesn't have that sandstone feel. 
Uh, this has a soft touch. It, it's kind of the same, but it's a little bit less, though. It's not as, as textured as the actual foam. Uh, it would have been nice if, if it had that exact same texture, but it doesn't. But it's not a bad thing. You can see some branding right here. Asus Zenfone. And it's pretty much got the same branding that's on the phone right here. And you got a little protection on the camera because the top camera sticks out a little bit more. I don't know if you noticed that, but you can see there it sticks out. So you've got more protection on this side of the camera for the top. And you got these openings on the side to give you pretty much openness on the on the phone itself. And popping it on, uh, it, it fits exactly like it's supposed to. So this phone has a fingerprint reader uh, in the power button. It had a software update right out of the box too. Um, let's see here. Oh, okay. So I'll just select this, I guess. Um, I was installing some applications, but I want to get into this and show you. Uh, here's the power button. Power button works really good. It's fast. This is a fast, uh, a fast phone, man. Uh, so far, playing with it for a little bit. It's actually pretty fast. I put my SIM card in here because I'm getting ready to use it. <laughs> so um, you can see how it looks with the case once again. You can see how it's protected. You can see the cutouts here and all the information there uh, on the device that you'll need quick access to. So, um, so far, um, it's bloatware. And bloatware, I left it on here because I wanted you to see for yourself what you're going to get when you get it out of the box. So, um, <clears throat> It's uninstall this Facebook because I, I feel like for me that's bloatware and then after that I, I rock with Netflix and all these other ones let's uninstall this messenger uh, and that's pretty much it and then I installed Twitter and a few I started installing a few apps and I started playing with them. I said you know I better I better stop and I better go ahead and um, I better go ahead and, and, and get this thing going but one thing I like is that it has a gallery uh, that's something that I think all smartphones should have Google Photos is nice and everything, but it, it definitely should have a gallery of its own. So this does work. I got my SIM card in here. It works with 4G LTE with the US. It has voice over LTE. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see here. I want to get, I want to run a speed test real quick just to see what the speeds are going to look like over the network. You can see I turned off Wi Fi. And let's see what we're rocking with. That's pretty decent. Um, inside the house most of the time I can get a lot faster I can get I'll get a lot faster than this once I leave the house but um, just want to show you that you can get really all you need is 8 to 10 to stream uh, but you know at this day and age we're getting two three hundred uh, you know everywhere so uh, let's check the Wi-Fi because this does have Wi-Fi 6e uh, so we'll refresh this and we'll get it set on the Wi-Fi here let's see there we go okay so it's on uh, now let's go back to the speed test and let's run that same test. You can see it's a little bit slower. The antennas in this phone appear to not be as strong, uh, but I do have it with the case, but I don't think that would affect it too much. But still, these are really good speeds, more than enough to upload with. Yeah, I was just going to say, as uh, long as the upload speeds are over 250, and they are, because I only get a gig up and down on, on uh, Wi-Fi devices. This is Wi-Fi 6, not 6E, my apologies. But nonetheless, the network is running good. Um, social media and everything so far seems to be running along very smooth, uh, no problems whatsoever. Um, the performance of the device is, I, I like it a lot, man. It's, it's really nice, man. This is the first boot on here. So, um, yeah, let's get into some settings here. I'm actually going to remove this case because it actually feels a little weird. Uh, the, uh, the, the phone itself has a really nice grippier feel to it. Uh, but yeah. We'll, we'll rock with the case when I go outside, but not around the, around the house. So let's get into the settings here. Um, you can see again, no much, not much bloatware on there after taking that off uh, for what I would consider bloatware. Dang, is there another software update? Wow, um, it's another one. It just did another one. Wow. Okay, so it's downloading another software update. Um, so we'll go ahead and download that. We'll we'll get it going. But these are the settings. So you've got your network sim card and everything in here uh you can see uh all the different uh things you can that, that they offer in here and then you've got uh let's check out this just display and brightness definitely got to get the font size bigger uh, let's apply that need the font bigger yeah definitely uh, and you've got your um 
connected devices, NFC, Android Auto. Uh, it does have NFC, and that's something that a lot of people probably were concerned about whether or not it's going to have NFC. And it does, in fact, have NFC. This is just like a perfect size. I mean, the the width of this phone, real quick, the width of this phone, the the size of the phone, the screen, everything. This is perfect, folks. We really don't need these ginormous phones that we're carrying around. I don't know why people measure the size of a person's phone by the size of their hands. I just think that's crazy. Anyway, um, yeah, you got NFC. Uh, you got your apps and permissions. You can see here. You can do the bubbles on, the conversations, priority, and everything like that. Same thing like regular Android. So you got many heads up notifications. Uh, that's oh oh that's dope. I like that. I definitely got to turn that on. Oh yeah, yeah. I like that. So it'll pop up at the top. I definitely like that. Yes. All right. Just kind of scanning through here. Hi, silence notifications in bar. No fun snoozing. Nope. All right. So sounds and notifications. Uh, you can see here. Call volume should be up. I hope that the the um, the volume is for the ringer is is pretty nice. Uh, you've got uh, audio wizard here. So advanced audio. Whoa, this is this is pretty sweet right here. So I'll leave it on dynamic, but I'm gonna go ahead and pump this equalizer up. Phones that have equalizers, folks, you definitely should use them. Uh, there's no reason why you wouldn't want to use them. Uh, get yourself some uh, some. Oh, look at this! You can just get the bass and trouble all the way up. I'm I'm feeling it. This is gonna be really nice when I plug in. And I like that it has a very nice equalizer like this. This is really dope. So yeah, we got priority mode on. I'll turn on turn on do not disturb a little bit. Phone ringer. This is what I wanted to see here. Oh yeah, that's that's a loud speaker. It's a stereo speaker setup. It's a lot of bass coming from this phone, believe it or not. That's pretty impressive. That's my kind of ringtone. Something that annoys me, that I know I'll have to get it. Yeah. I'll just give a sample of that speaker. That speaker is really loud. And obviously you can see it's a dual SIM. Um, and then you got your alarm sound, your notification, a new message. This is one that I, I don't like this message. Yeah, I don't like that. So I want something really simple. These are, I might just have to switch it to none. I've heard that sound before. These are all those old sounds, man. Oh my God, those are old sounds. Yeah, I probably just have to switch it to none. I don't, I don't really like some of these sounds. Uh, okay, I'll leave it at that because that's a nice simple sound. Uh, but yeah, no touch sounds. Vibrating haptic feedback on here is actually pretty, pretty nice. It's it's nice and subtle, but it's enough uh, to where you know you'll you'll feel the vibration. So as you can see here again in my storage, is 128 gig uh, with um, eight gigs of RAM. The system is taking up 22 gigs. That's just not a good look. But I mean, it is what it is. What can I do? Uh, okay, battery life here. It says about six hours left, but that's not going to be right because I, 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 I haven't done the first charge yet. Uh, you know, I'm still, still got to learn my way. So you do have a low power saving mode. That's nice. You can schedule it and everything. Battery care. Okay. Uh, display. This is a 120 hertz uh, level display. So uh, you've got smart screen. It's in the screen on time. You're looking at it. Nah, nah. Let's turn this up a little bit here auto refresh rate here's where you can actually set it and i'm going to set it to 120 hertz period why not uh the fact that it has auto refresh rate um that's a, a beautiful feature but i'm leaving it at 120 hertz because it's that's the most of what it's offering so why not you've got font styles down here this, this is pretty cool not a lot of phones will allow you to change the font styles uh right on the device itself so uh, that's cool. I like that kind of that retro looking font. Cool. 
You got animation speed you can do right here. You don't need to turn you don't need to turn on developer mode for this. I like that. All right, system is dark. Okay. Classic button menu. Oh, this is the styles here. Colorful, calm, elegant. Ah, okay. So these are these are your buttons on your um, power menu. So uh, let me go ahead and go back in here and, and and change this. I'm already getting annoyed with that font. <laughs> that that font is like messing with my eyes right now. I got to get something a little bit more subtle. There we go. That's better. You got app scaling to full screen. You can do all these different things. Uh, status bar icons, network speed, auto rotate. It's pretty cool how they have these in in here like this it, it's kind of saving you uh time i, I like that it has am pm i like that uh, it's kind of saving you time from going into other things always on display panel now this is nice right here let's check this out clock style let's do by time let's go clock style the simple the better oh this is this is pretty nice oh i like that I like that and so we started at uh, seven. Let's start it at nine a.m. and then ended at uh, eleven p.m. is fine. Yeah, so that's that's nice. Because I really want to know how this is gonna do for. Um, I like that. I want to know how this is gonna do when it comes to the battery life. So yeah, there's a lot of settings in here. Uh, but it's 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 just the the settings that we know this in in Android. So you've got a smart key. You got Edge tool here. What's what's that about? Ah, there it is, right there. So most most um, uh, phones now are coming with this type of technology. Really nice. That's pretty cool. So it's a nice little thing right there. Let's let's go in here and edit this. And so let's see what we can put in. Oh, okay. I was about to say I was wondering if you can put more stuff in there. I was like, man, that's not gonna it's not gonna do much much good if we can't put a lot of stuff in there. Uh, file manager, um, just a few things. Google TV, you know, just putting a few things in there. You know, just to see what it's gonna look like. Yeah. So you can looks like you can load it up pretty good. Oh yeah, I like this because it's smaller. That's actually that's actually pretty nice. Yeah, that's that's actually pretty dope right there. I, I like that. I like that. So let's go into advanced, see what they got down here back in oh yeah, I was in here a second ago. Optiflex, one hand mode, back double tap, screenshot, screen recorder. You can set the resolution as high as you want, which is 1080p. Quality is always going to be high for me. 60 frames per second. Ooh, you can do 120 frames. Uh, storage location. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, this is this is pretty doggone good, man. Um, got glove mode, pocket mode, prevent screen from reacting to excellent. Definitely got to turn on pocket mode. Definitely. So, uh, man, the basic rundowns. Again, it's system updates left and right with this. Let's go ahead and check. Let's get rid of this right here. Get rid of that. We don't want that. Let's check the wallpapers is what I was going to say. So you got your home screen preferences. You can go into here real quick. Uh, two layer mode. Oh, I got you. Okay. Screen size. Got that right. Continuous home screen. Left to right swipe. Okay. Let's go in here. And let's go back to wallpapers. Now. Uh, change wallpaper. Let's see what they're offering. Okay, so they're offering some pretty basic um, basic wallpapers. All these nine. Okay, here we go. Oh, I like this one right here. Oh, that's crazy right there. But they have all these different ones right here. Pretty nice. Looking pretty good. A little busy for me, but still fairly good. And then these are these, these active ones. Live wallpapers right here. That's set for the outside screen. But that's pretty much it, man. So... Um, I think I'll go with this black one right here, and then I'll do this one right here. And we'll set those, and that's it. And then we can do color schemes right there. You can do light or dark. 
always go dark on there. And you got wallpaper colors, all of that. So that's pretty nice, man. Pretty, pretty nice, man. I'm feeling it. That's actually pretty cool right there. This this phone is um, probably a, a, a device that might get slept on and it might not get slept on. We don't know until we actually uh, try it out some. So now I'm going to go ahead and talk about these cameras right here. Uh, let's get into the, the speaker on this thing is, is ridiculous, folks. It's really nice and loud. So uh, no thanks. We don't need to do that. So when you first open it up, this is what you're going to be greeted with right here. So we'll swipe down. You can see all your information right here. Auto HDR, uh, 16 by 9, 4 by 3. Uh, and you'll probably have to get to, for the highest ratio for the photos. You'll need to be in the 4 by 3 more than likely. So we definitely want to turn on our watermark and time and device name. I uh, love doing that. And let's just go ahead and set this up right here. I always do stuff like this real time. So you can see exactly um, how I'm going to set it up regardless. So there you go. I like watermarks, man. I, I, I do. you got pre-autofocus. Wow. When necessary, refocus before capturing. That's pretty sweet right there. Stabilizer guide there. QR codes. Preserve camera modes. Uh, grids. I turn on the grids sometimes uh, to help with taking photos. Uh, yeah, so that's there. Uh, so when you, again, when you go down like this, you get all this information here. So uh, if you swipe up like that, it'll give you that timer like that. I didn't mean to do that, but I was... <laughs> that is a loud timer, folks. Wow. So um, you got video. Full HD 30, you can actually change it like this, which I think is nice. 60. Let's see here. So if you're in 60, you cannot do, um, this does 8K. Okay, so something, something's, oh, HDR is off. Uh, hyper steady, that's what it is. So with, with, with hyper steady on, you cannot do, uh, and it's weird that it came default with hyper steady on. Uh, but you turn that off and just do normal stabilization. You can do 8K video with this, man. Uh, that's pretty dope. And so you got 4K and 4K 60 is where I'm going to go ahead and go with. Uh, and um, I'll leave it right there because that's that's what I like for video. Really sweet. You got your wide angle right here. That's a pretty nice wide angle. And then you got your time lapse, your slow mo, and then you got your portrait. I will be testing these. I'm just showing them to you. Panoramic light trail which is pretty nice we all know what that is and then go to more and so you can edit the uh, information over here so you have pro mode night mode and pro video wow okay good so you can see your levels right there that is definitely how i'm going to record my video uh and we go down here with 4k 6 okay so pro video 4k 60 thank goodness you can do that i'm totally open for that and you got your mic here 3d sound wind noise reduction auto hdr wow that is going to be nice, man. That's going to be nice. I don't know about the 3D sound, but the auto HDR is going to be really nice. Uh, and the wind reduction is going to be nice, too. So this is this is pretty. These are a good set of cameras so far, it looks like, as far as the settings go. But let's test them out. And then we'll close this video out. All right, the front camera is limited to 4K 30, but it can do 4K. And I think that's important to here in the wind and the sun. Get some sense of uh, how it's going to handle it. These cameras are, are ridiculously good, folks. But here's the front camera shooting in 4K. It's really, really sunny out. Now, here is the rear camera and pro video with the wind reduction turned on to see how this actually is going to work if you decide to be out on a windy day like this shooting video. So this is a sample with the wind reduction turned on on pro video. Now here is just a sample of pro video. Wow, this this phone is crazy nice, man. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. Pro video, wind reduction turned on, video sample. Really nice. It's nice to be. Let's point right towards the sun too. Let's see. Yeah, it's a really windy day out, uh, but it's definitely capable. And this 
this phone is just, the microphones for recording are just incredible so far. All right, so I took a few photos here with the Zenfone 9 uh, at different angles. So that first one was a wide angle. This is a non-wide angle. And then here's another wide angle. And then I'll go back to a non-wide angle. And the difference is what I see here is the color reproduction because of the sun. But overall, man, I am extremely impressed with these cameras. And, you know, everything on the video is absolutely phenomenal on these. Microphones record very well. So I think these will do very well indoors. Here's a couple of uh, photos. And here's one last portrait shot. All right, guys, as we close out here, man, the cameras on this device are going to be absolutely sick for recording videos, vlogs, whatever. But I noticed one thing. Uh, in the interim of me actually starting this video and getting to this point, I've actually gotten four system updates, and I am now on Android 13. So the system um, took me up to Android 13. Uh, I think that's pretty incredible. I got, um, see, I'm on Android 13 now. I ended up getting four updates, and the last update was Android 13. So I wanted to go ahead and share that with you. Once you get this phone out of the box, since it is already a little bit established, um, yeah, you're going to get Android 13. Give it a chance to continue to update. But overall, folks, I am really happy with this device at this point. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can grab yours. Uh, and, man, this is uh, it's going to be an experience. We'll see how I feel about this o over time. But let's kick this thing off, man. This is the Asus Zenfone 9, a phone I've been wanting to bring you guys for so long. It's your man Jay. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.